All right, welcome back. Uh, did some uh, selling some stuff and uh, picked up some extra guns. And I picked up all the vault suits we had from. Oh, there you are, from Vault Thirty Four. I'm gonna turn Morning. those in. Good to see you again. Yeah, uh, I have vault gear for you. You do? That's wonderful. Let me see what you brought. All right. That's gonna net you lots of caps, my friend. Do you want to trade all your vault suits right now? Uh, yeah, I'd like that. Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. Nice. Okay. Just like the boomers, you can just buy a uh, friendship here. Every other vault we go to, we'll just do the same thing. All right. But anyway, I picked up a. Uh, couple of uh, stealth weapons um, that I had. Um, so we have these Silence 22s. We also have this Sleepy Time that's from uh, Gunrunner's Arsenal. Um, I'm not sure if Lucky is a stealth weapon, but I figured I'd try it. I figured also I'd see if this one is. I mean, it's not a great one if it is, because it doesn't have a suppressor. But I'm curious if, if, can I even drop, yeah, it's a quest item, so they couldn't even take these out of my arms. <laughs> nice, okay. So let's uh, go do that. Today's physician, fixing things, programmer's digest. Magazines. Right. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Okay. Keep the holdouts. You'll get these back on your way out. All right, so let's see what we got to keep. Oh, we didn't get to keep either of the silenced 22s. That's kind of surprising. Uh, I mean, I figured, I mean, I guess the SMG I could understand because our Our sneak skill isn't great, but I would have thought the 22 pistol we would. Maybe because they're a World of Pain variant, maybe that would be it. But um. hello and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? Um. I'm sure you have all the good dirt on what goes on around here. I sure do, but loose lips <laughs> sink ships. Yeah, don't worry about me. I can keep your secrets. All right. You look pretty trustworthy. What can you tell me about what's uh, going on in Gamora? Gossip is one thing. Dirt on the family is something else totally. <laughs> all right, how about out in town? I'm not sure what's going on at Lucky 38. That place is weird. Nobody ever goes in. Nobody ever comes out. I mean, if no one goes in, I wouldn't expect anyone to come out. Right? Anything else? It's hard to believe that not too long ago, most of the families on the Strip were little more than warring tribes. The Omeritas even had a big war with the Khans once upon a time. Uh-huh. Anything else? Not much of a rumor, but I hear the Tops is always looking for new talent. Lord knows they've needed it for a long time. I've heard some pretty shady rumors about the Ultralux. I'm not sure what the deal is, but although they try to put on airs, that place is just plain creepy. Maybe it's the masks. Um... Sorry, that's all the news worth talking about. All I have, at least. Okay. 
Time to go. Later. <laughs> well, I suppose in our old friend, Mr. Blackjack. Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? I'd like to exchange my worthless NCR money for chips. How many chips would you like? All my... <laughs> so I only have five dollars. <laughs> Here's your chips. Is there anything else oh, I can help okay. you with? Okay. How many chips would you like? All my Legion money. Here's your chips. Is there Jeez, anything else I can help you with? a lot of Legion money. Okay. Have a good time, and good luck. <laughs> luck. Well, you ladies are welcome to come sit at the table. Play around with us. Or I guess just talk to no one. Where's Veronica? Alright. Bet Max, deal. Yeah, I'll stay. Fuck. Off to a great start. Yeah, let's do. Both had twenty. That was a I don't know what happened on that split. Risky at Gamora. Alright, six. And, uh, So I feel lucky, but I don't really feel lucky with this hand. Okay. Fuck. Seven and a fourteen. Yep. So that's eighteen. It's twenty one. Wait, what? No, he had twenty. What? Unless I'm still hung over and I can't count. That was twenty one to twenty.
you gonna come by with my free drink? Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, look who has the hot hands. Here, have something special on the house. Brown steaks. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Who the fuck cares? Alright. Oh. Oh! Hey, this what is. What the fuck uh, are you looking at? Well, not you. Um. This is the guy we were looking for, uh, for the Bison Steve Hotel project. Hey, uh, Mr. Slim. My name's, uh, Cannonball Taylor. You got a second? Can't you see I'm busy? What the hell you want? Uh, I'm here to call in the shipping order. Ship the items to Bison Steve Hotel immediately. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Let me see that. What the... How in the hell you get this? This belongs to that no good son bitch Buck Brunson. Yep, it does. Steve found it in his granny stuff along with the plans to rebuild the bison. And let me guess, you and Steve are trying to finish a job she and Buck couldn't finish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that order ain't no good no more, so you shit out of luck. Besides, you don't look like that asshole Brunson know how. That's his order. Why all the hostility towards Buck? I thought you were old friends. Well, we used to be, but ain't no more. That line, no good hornswoggler can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. I heard you had a fallout over a big poker hand. Poker hand? You think this is all about that goddamn poker hand? You must be dumb on your bag of hammer. The son bitch double crossed me on a business deal I was working on with a fella from up north. Undercut me and took my contract. Mm. Cost me a shitload of money, too, so fuck him. I'm sorry to hear about all that, but this order says it's paid for, so I would like it shipped. You got Brahmin shit in your ears? I already told you that order ain't no good no more. Since that zombie swindled me, I lost my shipping caravan and I can't deliver shit. So even if I had a way to deliver, them prices ain't no good no more. The price has gone up. Uh, you can still the Wait, but you still have the lights, right? Couldn't Crimson Caravan deliver them? Yeah, I reckon I do, but you ain't getting them for no less than 1500 cap. Like I said, the price has gone up. It'll cost me that much to hire the Crimson Caravan and ship them and make up for my trouble. Hmm. So you weasel out of a deal? Should be great for business when word of this gets out. Now hold on there just a damn minute. We can keep this little misunderstanding between you and me, can't we? I contact a buddy over at Crimson Caravan and get him to pick up the lights later today. You should have them tomorrow. I expect you'll be wanting this hill receipt. Now get out of my face. Uh -huh. Fuck not at home. Must be cozy up there in the Lucky 38. Find yourself a girl, or a guy. Have some fun. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of wanted to uh, do that quest mod for the uh, bison. Um, talk to Joanna. On Carlito's behalf. Where do I have to go? I always get lost in the casinos. Put the monorail back to work. Who's you? Uh, courtyard. Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. So you followed the call of your desires all the way to the arms of Joanna. Moi. Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? Um... Well, is this related to the quest? Oh, confident. I like that. So, what do you want to do with what you've got? 
I don't think this is related to the quest. Oh my, aren't you something else? I guess you'll have to see for yourself what I can do, huh? Consider it on the house, honey. Uh, actually, I have a couple of questions. All right, honey. What do you want to know? Um, I want to talk about Carlitos. What? Have you seen him? Have you talked to him? Uh, Carlitos wants to get you out of here. I... Look, we can't talk here. If you think you can help me, follow me to my room, please. Uh, alright, lead the way. Follow me, hun. I, mean, I guess it's the weather for that outfit. Sunny and hot in New Vegas. Hey, what's up? Uh, I wanted to talk about Carlitos. Yes? He wants to get you out of here. He does? Wait, this changes everything. I can't leave my girls here. And where would we go even if we escape? No, it's too risky. We'll all end up dead. Uh, trust me, I'll... I mean, I'll get you out the front door, but I don't think you're really much of a companion. You sound so sure. Damn it all. You better not make me regret this later. But the Omertas will want us dead. What are we going to do about that? You'll never see them again. You have my word. Uh, actually, hold on. Okay. Uh, some questions? Uh... Yes. What's the deal with Gamora? It's your paradise on this desolate earth, hun. Your troubles are gone. Your pain forgotten. And your dreams come true. Uh, tell me about their clients. Everyone wants a piece of their own personal heaven. So they come here for hours. And hours, hun. <laughs> Military men. NCR ranchers, wandering travelers. They're all the same without their clothes on. What they want, the Omertas provide. Uh-huh. Tell me about them. You best hold your tongue, friend. Or someone here will take care of it for good. Uh... All right, honey. What do you want to know? Um... You, I guess? Yes. Contracted pupils, involuntary spasms, medex kills quickly, Joanne. I can help. I... I didn't think it showed. <laughs> I guess that it's worse than I thought. What's happened? I'm... I don't know what's happening to me. I can't feel a goddamn thing anymore. Empty and poisoned like the wasteland. I'm afraid I won't make it out of here. Not without Carlitos. If the Medex doesn't kill me first, Kachino or another Omerta will. <laughs> I look pathetic, huh? The great Joanna. And now... I don't even know why I'm telling you this. Uh, alright, so tell me about Kachino. He's a filthy monster. I've been with perverted men, but Kachino's done things to me that... Even other Omertas would also want to kill him if they knew what he does. He's broken so many of their rules that I don't know how he still breeds. Uh... What's the Omerta's role in Gamora? They run the place as a center for all their dirty scams and extortions. Gambling, sex, drugs... They'll use whatever works to exploit your weaknesses. Hooker, customer, it doesn't matter. Everyone here is a pawn to the Omertas, playing and dying by their rules. And their leaders? Nero's the pack leader, and Big Saul's his right hand. What Nero wants, Big Saul does. 
Then there's Kachino. Uh huh. What's Carlito's story? He was an Omerta that fell in love with me. They don't ever mix with people outside the family, you know? Ew. He was planning to escape with me, but Kachino found out about us. So he did something, talked, I don't know. And Carlitos disappeared. Um, so Kachino talked because Carlitos broke a matter of rules. Kachino doesn't give a shit about rules. Only cares to feed his perversions. He lusted for me. He's done things to me. Look, I'm stuck here. I know that. Carlitos is the only thing that kept me going. And now I don't have anything left. Uh, well, he wants to get you out of here. But the Omertas will want us dead. What are we going to do about that? I'll never see them again, you have my word. To be free, and with Carlitos again. Tell them that I still... I... Never mind. Let Carlitos know that we'll be ready when you are. Okay. Um, is there anything else you can tell me? What do you want to know about those sons of bitches? Yes? Uh, Let Carl Consider it, it done. Thank you so much for your help. I really have to ask someone about the... Okay, see you soon. Omerta's not buying weapons from uh, Ralph. This place smells like booze and sex. That's why. What's that? Note added. We, the undersigned, do hereby agree for Prim to become full participation in New California Republic. We accept that we will follow all the NCR laws, uh, regulations, and support them in all war f wartime efforts. Petition has one of five signatures. What? Where the hell did I get that? That just popped up. Did someone... Hello. Is there like a new quest regarding that? Hmm. I'm gonna have to Google that. I don't know what that's about. Welcome to Gamora. How... Like turning my chips. In what? Uh, no, it's just easier. Very well. Will there be anything else? Uh, goodbye. Have a good time. Bosses don't like no trouble in their place. Okay, what's up with the... Gamora has the loosest slots Things on the strip. NCR should do their fucking job. Okay, stealth mode on. I don't know why I said there was an enemy over there. Fiends are bad for business. NCR should do their... Alright. Let's go find this dude. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night some girl... Whoa. Oh, no, not that casino. Avoiding going into the tops until later.
guys put the monorail back to work. Hey, buddy. Hey, it's you. What's the news? Uh, I want to talk to you about Joanna. Hey, that's great. What's going on? Uh, actually, I got some questions. All right. About what do you want to know? Um, tell me about your past. You know, straightening up bets, Gamora, success, women, all that shiny stuff. You said work about... What about working at Gamora? It was heaven. Until you find that all the glitter is made of broken dreams and all the praise hides a knife pointing at your ribs. Um... Vegas? Alright. What do you want to know? Uh... Strip? If you're smart, the strip's all flash and noise. If not, luck's your dame. Your hot date until you find she's a cheap whore high on jet. Uh-huh. Important players? <laughs> There's only one important player in town, and that's Mr. House. Everyone keeps clean around him. The families, the barons, fuck, even the NCR. Any recommendations? My recommendation? Get the fuck out of town while you can. It'll leave you hanging in the wind, or worse, add your body to a concrete wall, okay? Okay. Uh... This place has come a long way. Sarah takes care of it, and she lets me stay, for now. What does she do? What doesn't she do, huh? Sarah makes this hole look like a palace. Damn nice pair of gams on her, too. She never walks outside, though. Okay. What Back about you, Anna? Back on topic. Uh, happy to hear from you, wants to escape Gamora. She is? Listen, no time to waste. Help her get to Freeside. That's our ticket out of this fucking city. I'll meet you there between midnight and dawn. But we could use some backup. We only got one chance to get this right, you hear? These guys in Freeside, good shots, right? They owe me big time. Tell them that Carlitos is back to collect his chips. They'll know what to do. All right, where in Freeside will you meet us? I'll be near the entrance, but I need to keep out of sight. The Emeritus have contacts, and they're still looking for me. Okay, how do I get her out? She'll have to go disguised. Gamora's packed around midnight, and the bouncers won't notice just another patron leaving the joint. All right. I'm on it. All right, see you soon. Vegas at night is like a place like this would exist. Kind of want to check out what's going on in Prim. Just make sure they're not like. Who are you? Walter Phoebus? Ethel Phoebus? Howdy, son. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. Uh... You look more than just too hot. What's the matter? Sharp eyes on you, all right. We've gone through a heap of trouble to get in town. Ethel says I just need to wet my throat. A drink? Nonsense. All I need now is to settle a score. We didn't come a long ways just to stroll our best clothes around. Uh... You a bighorn rancher? Bighorn is my trade since I was a young'un. I confess, it's hard living these days, kid. The wasteland ain't the same anymore. Uh... You're not from around here. Darn far it is, our ranch. Ethel would be happy to yap about that. I got more important things in mind, kid. Uh, what's being a bighorn rancher like? <laughs> bighorn is my trade since I was a young'un. I confess, it's hard living these days, kid. The wasteland ain't the same anymore. Uh... Wasteland? Oh, I know it better than my wife's corset. What about it, kid? <laughs> uh... What are the most dangerous places? 
Hell, it's all dangerous. Know why? Because you can't trust anything that stands on two legs. If you're looking for real trouble, head straight into the mountains. Men don't walk up there for good reasons, kid. Hmm. How do uh, wastelanders cope with current times? Stealing our pure breed resolve, that's how. We faced the wasteland right in the old mug and told her to shove it. <laughs> Listen, we own these lands. And I'll be damned if the NCR, those Legion bastards, or anyone else tries to walk all over us. All right. I got some time. What's eating you? Question about you. Okay. What'd you want to know? What was that about settling a score? There's a long list of grievances that Heck Gunderson's got to answer for, kid. I'm here to make sure that rancher stops stealing our lands. If he ain't chiseling behind your back, he just sends his men ready for a fight. Then you either sell your ranch for a penny, or you're dead. I'm tired of being trampled over, kid. And I got a good mind to stop Heck once and for all. Huh. Uh, what do you plan to do about him? I have no illusions that he'll ever stop his plundering. So I'm just gonna make him suffer. That's what I'm gonna do. Here in town, he's got a few of his armed men to protect him. I just gotta find out what he's up to, and then I'll know where to hit him hard. Uh, is, is this vanilla? I, I don't remember ever seeing this. Huh. Um, best don't come cheap, Walter. 400 caps, my fee. All right, kid. I'm taking a liking to you. It's a deal. Where I come from, we appreciate good intentions. I reckon you could help me figure out what he's doing in town. Tell you what, that chiseler's blowing hot air over at that there fancy casino, the Ultra Lux. Find out what's his story here, will you? Okay. I'll be back uh, when I find out more. <laughs> All right, kid. I appreciate it. I hope to see you soon. What's your name again? Walter Phoebus? Feeble Will. Huh. I was, I was wondering if this was like an alternate start to Beyond the Beef, but... Okay. I'm gonna look into that. I'm also gonna look into that thing that going on in Prim. Uh... Hi. Uh, we'll be back.